Hey guys, welcome to my video. Um, this is a new little product line I just made for one of my customers. Um, it's a Bedini circuit for those of you who are very familiar with it. Um, this is the, the basic Bedini circuit. Um, this one has um, three transistors instead of one. Uh, it's got the welding rod core. Um, this is four strands, so you have three power, and then the fourth one is um, your timing or or your trigger, depending on if you're using this as a motor. So um, right now it's set up as an oscillator, uh, but if you switch these two wires, um, you could put a wheel on here and run it as a regular Bedini motor. So um, let me show how this laid out. So we're coming through the 12 volt battery right here, then it goes through the motor and it's in a force oscillation so the two wires are flipped backwards to where the first wire um, goes through the coil turns these on and then when this fires you get a big um, big magnetic field that actually cuts off the field of the smaller one so then it turns the small wire off and then it repeats and depending on what resistors you have um, you could change the frequency higher or lower or more more amperage drain or more amperage out um, right now this is set up with with um, two kilo ohm resistors and then we have little neon lights here to help um, get rid of the excess energy if for some reason this isn't plugged in so as we come back through here um, just as Bedini does right here is you have a diode coming off and then going over so that's what these right here are. you have three diodes right there in the middle and they all connect across to the output and then the negative is um, actually connected to the positive of the battery. So as this comes through, it goes in series through these light bulbs. These are 12, 24 volt, 6 watt LEDs. And then it comes right in here to the um, cap dump. And the cap dump is set, set at 16 volts. So once it gets to 16 volts, it's going to dump through the amp meter and then into the second battery. Um, just like on John's stuff here, comes over here into a capacitor and then it has some type of a switching system that dumps into the second battery. So in this case, um, this is my little cap dump that I that I design and sell um, and it works quite well. So let me fire this up and you guys could take a look at how it works. So like I said, the lights are in series to the positive of the cap dump. Um, you could hear it kind of ringing with this core in it. We're using 1.2 amps and then the cap dump is doing almost 3 amps into the second battery as we're running the lights. You could hear the tone kind of change as it's boosting up those capacitors and this is a little bit of resistance to it uh, but it doesn't seem to mind it just goes right through it right into the cap dump and into the second battery. So. Pretty neat little experiment. Um, so like I said, if you have a big uh, bicycle wheel and you could get some magnets on it, you could actually just put this underneath it, change these two wires over into a Bedini circuit, and then um, your magnetic wheel will go right here and you could run it as a motor. And then if you switch them back like it is now, it's in a force oscillator mode. So it's all solid state. There's no moving parts, but um, it puts out right around 250 volts of um, spike energy or back EMF and um, goes through the lights, the capacitors kind of translate it into amperage and then when it gets to 16 volts it dumps into the second battery. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys like the video.